Hey everybody, welcome back. We're on Monopolis part eight, okay? So if you made it this far, congratulations. Awesome that you made it all the way to part eight. We're gonna do some intervention. I also wanna put right from the top, in this video, we're going back to no price discrimination. So if you've watched part six and seven, we were doing perfect price discrimination. Now we're heading back to no price discrimination. And when we have no price discrimination, Monopoly power ends up having a dead weight loss associated with it. So let's go ahead and put this onto our graph. We'll get a monopolist up here, okay? So we've got demand market. Remember, no price discrimination means MR is not demand, and it actually has twice the slope in absolute value terms as the demand curve. Now I'm going to go ahead and put our MC curve, which of course I forgot my red pin, which I pretty much is becoming a theme in these videos, is for me not to start with my red pin. Anyhow, that's my marginal cost. What's going to be our output level? We go to MR equaling MC right there. That's where MR equals MC. That is Q profit max. Now, what's our price point going to be? Our price point, we go all the way up to the demand curve and over price monopolist. Okay? Now, we're going to get some dead weight loss if this is the case. Why? Because the marginal cost curve, if no externalities, I always have to throw that in, if no externalities, is the marginal social cost curve. And the demand curve is the marginal social benefit curve. And where MSB and MSC intersect, we want to produce all the way to right there. MSC, MSB, they intersect right there. We want to produce all the way to right there. And we're not. We're producing right there. What would be our dead weight loss? Well, if we take a look at this, we've got our MSB and MSC. So there's our MSB, our MSC, but we're only producing to there. We're not producing to there. So for all of these goods where MSB is greater than MSC, this would be our dead weight loss. Okay, so let's go ahead and mark that triangle right there. Dead weight loss. So we say, hey, let's fix this. Okay, it's a monopolist. They got uh, pricing power. We can see they've got pricing power. Okay, they've raised the price. If it was perfect competition, the price market would be down here. We've got price monopolists up there. We've got dead weight loss. Hey, let's intervene. What are we going to intervene with? It's a monopolist. Let's do a per unit tax. Is that the right move? Well, what's a per unit tax going to do? Well, now, every time the monopolist sells a good, they're going to have to give an additional amount of money to the government. Every time they sell a good, the money they collect, give an additional amount. So it's adding an additional cost to supplying the good. So what do taxes do? Just what I said, they add an additional cost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a new MC plus per unit tax above where the other one was. This is MC plus per unit tax tax. This is our new supply curve, supply with tax. What are we going to do now? How much are we going to produce? Well, the amount we're going to produce is based on where the new MC plus per unit tax equals MR. Where do they intersect? Right here because that's the MR curve. This is our new MC with the tax added on. So our output is going to drop, which should make sense, right? Per unit taxes make your output drop. We've always seen that. Per unit taxes have always decreased the output. So now we're going to have Q tax. That's not good. This way over here we already saw was our Q opt. So we had Q profit max, but now we're at Q tax. Our output dropped. We were already under allocating resources to the production of the good. Now we're really going to under allocate resources to the production of the good. What's going to happen to dead weight loss? Well, if we're only going to produce to right here, we're not getting anything past this quantity. And hey, I'm going to kind of dash that all the way up, okay? This is my MSB. This is my MSC. We're missing out on all of this triangle right here where MSB is greater than MSC. The dead weight loss increased. Increased substantially, actually. Now, does this mean that there's no intervention that we should do if we have a monopolist? No. There are interventions we can do, some really beneficial interventions that we could perhaps do. But the one we're probably not going to do is a per unit tax. Why? Because it would actually reduce our output and it would increase dead weight loss. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to do things that increase dead weight loss. 
So this is not the right solution, but that's how it works. Anyhow, hope you like that and we'll see you in the next video.